In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating and using the Van Toff factor for electrolytes. So in this problem, we are being told that we have a mystery liquid X. We've dissolved some aniline in the X. We got a freezing point depression for that solution. Um, we're dissolving some sodium chloride also in the same X solvent. And we got a freezing point depression of that as well. And we're being asked to calculate the Van Toff factor for sodium chloride. Now, before you get excited and say, oh, I just, I know what the Van Toff factor is for sodium chloride. It's a two and you call it good. Don't do that. Notice that this problem is asking you to calculate the Van Toff factor, not make a prediction. You're going to need to do some calculations to come up with this Van Toff factor. So don't just plug in what you think the Van Toff factor might be. To calculate the Van Hoff factor, we're going to need to use our delta T, um, we're freezing, so delta TF equals IKF little m. This is, this is where we'll come up with the Van Hoff factor. We need to know the change to the freezing point for sodium chloride solution. We need to know the freezing point um, depression constant for that liquid X, and we also need to know the molality of the solution. Now, some of this information we already know. It says if sodium chloride is dissolved, the freezing point is 12.9 degrees lower. So that's our delta TF. So we know that the delta TF is 12.9 degrees Celsius because we get that from the problem. I is what we're trying to figure out. We don't have the value of KF anywhere. We have no idea what it is. And since it's telling us that the solution is a mystery liquid, we can't look it up or anything like that. What about molality? Do we have information about molality? We have a mass of sodium chloride and we have a mass of liquid X. So we can calculate the molality. Let's do that now. The, for the NaCl solution, let's take the 128 grams of NaCl and convert that into moles. I'm using, um, I looked up the molecular weight of NaCl and it is 58.4 four grams, but you should use Alex's calculator for this because Alex likes molecular weights to be very, very exact. 2.19 moles of NaCl divided by the mass of the solution or mass of the liquid in kilograms, 600 grams. That is 0.6 kilograms. So the molality of our NaCl solution we know is 3.65. Okay, so in terms of getting to I, we know the delta TF, we know the molality, but we don't know the value of KF. So how are we gonna come up with that? Well, let's look at the other information that this problem is telling us. The problem is telling us that if we have 128 grams of aniline in 600 grams of liquid X, the freezing point is 4.9 degrees lower. Um, so for aniline, aniline is a non-electrolyte because it is a non-metal with a non-metal with a non-metal with a non-metal. This is a non-electrolyte. And because it is a non-electrolyte, the value of I is one. We know that the value of I is one. So for aniline, I'm just gonna kind of like mark this off right here. For aniline, the change to the freezing point is I, K, F, M. And for aniline, we know that the change to the freezing point is 4.9 degrees C. That's given to us in the problem. We know that the value of I is one. We just don't know the value of KF. And we can calculate the molality because we know the mass and we know the mass, uh, also the mass of the liquid X. So let's calculate the molality of the aniline. First, we need to figure out how many moles we have, 128 grams of C3H7NO2 multiplied by its molecular weight, which is 89.09 grams per mole. 
128 divided by 89.09, 1.44 moles. Divide that by the mass in kilograms of the liquid X. which gives us a molality of 2.39. So for aniline, we have enough information to calculate Kf. We know the delta Tf, we know the I, and we know the little m. Um, for aniline, Kf is delta Tf times I, over, divided by I times m which is 4.9 degrees C divided by 1 times 2.39 molality, molal, 4.9 divided by 2.39 is 2.05. The units are degrees C per molality. So we've been able to come up with the value of Kf, which we can use up here in this equation right here. So the value of Kf is no longer unknown to us. It is 2.05 degrees C per molality. So now we have what we need to calculate I. We have a delta Tf, we have a Kf, and we have a molality. I is going to be delta Tf divided by Kf times molality. Delta Tf is 12.9 degrees C. Kf is 2.05 degrees C per molality, and the molality is 3.65. Now we know that we should be expecting it to be 2 because it's sodium chloride, but it's Alex. So if it's not 2, I'm not going to be stressed by it. If it's not 2, I might redo my calculations just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. Um, 1.7, it says 2, figs, 2 sig figs. 1.7 is close enough to 2 for me, so I'm going to call that good. It says be sure your answer has a unit symbol if necessary, but I does not have a unit.